Today, we're going to be talking about a fictional but very scientific developmental network using George R.R. R. Martin's A Game of Thrones as our analogy. So here we have a wild type developmental network where Jamie Lannister, as we know him in the books, uh, also promotes Cersei and Cersei tries to stop or inhibit Ned Stark from helping or promoting Robert Baratheon with the Kingdom of Westeros. So in this wild type, this natural network, Robert is not transcribed because Jamie promotes Cersei. Cersei inhibits Ned, who then can't promote uh, Robert Baratheon, and thus Westeros is not saved. So we have to think about some mutations here. What happens if we take Cersei out of this equation? Well, Jamie is still active and tries to promote her, but she doesn't exist. Therefore, she cannot inhibit Ned, and Ned can save Westeros by promoting Robert Baratheon, and that's the phenotype. Now, a double mutation is an entirely different story, where Jamie is still active, who tries to promote Cersei, but remember, Cersei's not there, so she can't inhibit Ned, who also isn't there, but if Cersei can't inhibit Ned and Ned can't promote Robert, then Robert Baratheon is not transcribed and Westeros is doomed. So we do have to talk about a bit of the biology behind this. So Cersei inhibits Ned and in a way also inhibits Robert Baratheon. Now, Cersei represses Robert Baratheon in the way that she represses his expression by preventing the translation of his mRNA, if we were talking on a biological sense and these were these scientific pathways. So these are my citations and thank you very much for listening.